Well, boys and girls, I woke up this morning, walked out on a deck, and looked at my nice field. And then I see this crap. I see this stuff. So, we know who it was. We think we know who it was. Tirebug, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure we know who it is. <laughs> so, we think it is Gorilla Man and Brayden over there. Um, Brett said, Brett, like, messaged me at 4 a.m. on Skype. He was like, dude, squad, I was on the server at 4 a.m. And I was watching Gorilla Man and uh, Brayden tip over your tractors and stuff. Do the cow tipping thing or whatever. I don't know. But anyways, he, uh, yeah, we he tipped him all over here. He's got them all tipped over. I think this was his payback for us putting him in the pond. So I'll, I'll, I'll let it, I'll let it slide for now, I guess is what we'll do. But like literally here's my, oh man, my 8120 and stuff. Dude, this thing doesn't even start up good. Oh man. So we got to tip all this stuff over. I'll leave it for now. I'll tip it over at the end because this, this is going to be tough to tip all over, man. Gorilla man. Okay. He's got my white here. He's got my Case Magnum here. He's got the 7R, the 7R that I really loved. That was a good tractor, the 7R right there. And then he's got, let's see what else he has. Ooh, their cows aren't doing too hot, by the way. And then no, not. we sold, so Nathan harvested all last night and basically harvested everything. And so he sold a lot of grain. We have 2.4 million right now so far, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, so $2.4 million worth of harvest, which we're going to smoke grill, man. Braden, we actually, should actually. Uh, I just looked, and it's two point six. Okay, two point six million, and then we're also gonna harvest these wheat fields over here because uh, the other team planted it, and nobody else has been harvesting them. So we're just gonna go harvest those quick um, and knock those out, and then we'll have everything harvested already, man. I can't believe we got all this done. And then we have what four loads of corn. Yep. And then and four loads of barley, also. Too. Four loads of barley, also. So we okay. Where are yep. all those stored? What bins? Okay, so the. We got two bins. The corn at Wilson Stables has okay. an auger on it, and the barley stored in this 400k bin at the house here. Okay. It's got an, also, it has the Farm King on it. Okay, perfect. That'll work good then. Okay, and then eventually you want to bale up those wheat fields too, right? Yep. Okay, we'll bale up the straw. Okay, that'll be sweet. So that's the project we got going on today to eventually flip these over because Grill Man screwed us over again. But these, I don't think I'm going to do any payback because I just don't want this stuff going on and on. I want the server to yeah. at least like live. So we'll, we'll take it. We'll take it. And then we'll uh, flip back over and park them. But uh, that was a girl man. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. But anyways, <laughs> um, we're going to, I'm going to, ooh. Okay. So you want me to jump in the Magnum or New Holland or? The, or sorry. Or Gleaner or New Holland. Okay, Gleaner in New Holland. Okay, I'll uh, I'll jump in the New Holland, dude. These are so dirty. Do you want to clean? Uh, we got a couple of fields we left. Okay, yeah. you want you want to clean them off? Yeah, we can do it at the end. Okay. Field. There we go. So we're gonna head down here. I'm actually gonna take my header off and just pull it for now. All right, I guess All right. you know what? I can go down the road. It'll be fine. There's nobody on these roads, anyways. We should be nope. good. There we go. And I'm gonna actually turn down my volume. Sorry, guys. I turned it up thinking it was quiet, but now I gotta turn this baby down there we go and we'll follow nathan going down the field okay do we need a gravity wagon or just semi or what um i was gonna bring a semi down okay yeah, yeah. Great. i think that's all we need to we don't really need too much there we go we'll make the turn through here oh boy we're going everywhere hopefully you guys are enjoying this tournament it's about over dude we only have like probably not many videos, but like a couple days on tournament because there will be people selling stuff. So I'll still be on and we'll still be recording, but there's not many days left. So I'm thinking the next tournament will most likely come out in like, uh, I think like beginning of August is when I'll try to do it. I'll try to do it before everybody goes back to school. Like I school starts for me like August 20th or some, somewhere around there. So I'll try to do it right before everybody goes back to school. I hopefully that all works out or I was thinking about doing it like late July. I don't know though. We have to decide it. But I want to get one more tournament in before school starts for everybody. I mean, even though it's a ways away and stuff, and you guys probably start late. But I start like August 20th. So that's when I want to do it. So we're following Tirebog down now. The field we're going to is going to be field 7 and partially 9. It's what they got planted. Like, there's, it's going to look so ugly because, like, part of it's not even planned. <laughs> part of it is, and they planted weird spots. Yeah, they didn't do so good, though. So, the only two teams are Team Two and Team Three, and Team Three probably is gonna lose because they don't have they don't yeah, have much acreage, yeah. acres at all. So, and they didn't buy enough cows to make. Yeah, <laughs> he was he was like yeah. Grillman was talking, guys, and he was uh, 
we we were talking. He was like, "So we're gonna go off harvest acres, right? How much? Just how much crop you you brought in? That's the only gonna. That's the only factor gonna be in to who wins this. How much? Uh, har- how much you harvested, basically? And then he was like, "So I can sell all my cows, right? All my cows I bought, and that counts too." And I was like, "No, no, no. It's only the cows like you produced in that time. So if you if you bought fifty cows, and then those fifty cows made three little baby cows, you're allowed to sell those baby cows, and then also the milk. But you can't sell like all your cows, I guess. So." I was going to do like a net worth figure. So like all your assets uh, minus liabilities. If you have liabilities, uh, not many people really do. And then your cash after. So, But it's tough to know the value of these assets, I guess. And yeah. what everybody bought. That's the only thing. So next time we'll do the value of your assets too. Which are like your equipment, your trucks, your land, all that. There we go. Look at these fields. They're just bare, dude. There's nothing on them. I, w- I kind of wish we played for two years long. It'd be cool if we played Yeah, it'd be cool. Yeah. two years long. Because people would have to cultivate quick, and then they'd know what to do. They'd know what equipment they need. We'd just get going again. It'd be nice. But right now, we have so much equipment. There's only two teams, and there's like there's equipment for like five teams right now. So everybody has just equipment all over the place as of right now. Oh, you know what? I should probably turn on my beacons and my flashers as we're going down the road. There we go. And he's going to take a left over there. What is those? What are those tractors over there? There's a skid loader over there. Probably one of ours they've reset. Um, there's a sprayer. Sure. And then there's a 9RT. Like that's all grill mans and team. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, don't go in the ditch. Oh, come out of the ditch. There we go. Oh, I wonder if they store, if anybody stored anything in these bins over here. Uh, I don't do think you so. want to sell this wheat or do you want to wait for great demand? Because they probably sold all their wheat. Or maybe um, not. I don't know. It, it went up a little bit. Okay, so we'll sell it. Sped up time, but okay, perfect. Ooh, it's late autumn. So, so is this the last day of autumn or last day? Oh, Unless okay. We change the seasons again and make it <laughs> another day. And then winter will be here, boys. Yeah. There we go. So, okay. Do you want to start harvesting this? Get a full load and then bring the semi, or just bring the semi right now? Oh, we'll cut out. Well, I guess this is already cut out pretty much. Good. Yeah. Yeah, I think we'll splice it. There's a little run through the center there. I think I'll cut a little bit of that out. Okay, that'll work good then. Bring the trucks in. There you go. How fast does that gleaner go? Like twenty? Like sixteen? Oh, twenty. Okay, I was gonna say mine goes twenty-six. Yeah. Dude, we need to wash these off after. I'm gonna do a video just all washing off equipment because this stuff is so dirty. I want to see the before and after of this thing. Look at this. Oh man, I can't even see on my windshield. There we go. We'll take a left over here, and then, uh, dude, what, if, what were they doing when they planted this? It's like so bad. Oh, I don't know. I think they planted it, and then they the two hours ran out, so oh, they okay. quit. There you go. Yeah, they probably don't have yeah. any fertilizer. It's it, dude. We could probably knock this whole thing out. It's probably not going to oh, yield yeah. much at all. Yeah, I'm not going to do a uh, straw swap till we go back and forth. Okay. Or I don't know if I'll do it on this field because it's so chopped up. But. Yeah, this is not going to yield like anything. Oh, man. Well, I'm just kind of following you around, so wherever you go, I'll go. Great. Yeah, I think I'll just cut the strip off. Yeah. It actually is. I'm already at 4%. Maybe it is yielding decent, actually. Yeah, I'm at 10, so... There we go. Okay, I'll let you keep going on this, and I'm going to go back and grab the... I'll grab one semi, and then... Do you want a green cart? I can do a fall me mod. Oh, let's do a semi. Okay, yeah. I can semi will work good. And it'll, fit, it'll all fit in the semi, right? Yeah, it should. Okay. Oh, big country's in our semi over there. I got to get him out. Oh. Oh, big country, you in the semi? Oh, he's in hey, here? Oh, we big can country. take another green cart, then. Okay. I can help. Follow me with a uh, green cart. We're going to harvest some wheat. I'm gonna drive the semi, and then you follow me with uh, just uh, the little little granny cart will be fine. Okay. The Kinsey over here. Oh wait, you probably don't have a tractor. Shoot. Yeah, they just stole the tractor. Yeah, all the tractors yeah, are gone. Yeah, stole the tractor off the nine or two. Oh man. I can go find a tractor. Here. Okay, he'll go find a tractor for you quick. Just hook it up to one of the Kinseys. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe they stole everything. Oh, yeah. and then I gotta flip it back over yet too. Where? Where's the 9RT? Um, it's flipped. 
Like a grill so man and his his crew like flipped all of our tractors over at uh, No Fuel Farms over there. So yeah, everything everything's flipped. Hey, there's a 9RT. He just uh, reset a 9RT. And yes, we did teleport a 9RT, guys. I think we have. I think we should be able to because here, hear me out. Hear me out before anybody gets mad. They teleported all of our equipment from our farm away from our farm, so they cheated by teleporting yeah, it, yeah. and then flipped it all over. So I think we are allowed to teleport it back to our farm, just to at make at least a right. few of them. Yeah. Yeah. Here you can get the 9RT and the Kinsey over here. It's here. There we go, and then I'll hit this road all the way down there. Oh, it might have been faster to just go right. That's what I should have done. Oh, dude. This thing has... This need, thing needs repaired. Look. It just stalled out. Oh, Do, yeah, does that ever right. happen? We need to, uh, yeah, this happened us, to us when we were all in green. Yeah. yeah. Right on the last few loads it did us. Dude, that's so cool about... But you gotta admit, that's so cool how it like, just stalls out while you're going down the road just because it needs repaired. I'll repair it probably over at their farm if I get a chance once I pull in there because I don't want this happening the whole time. <laughs> there we go. We'll head down here and then take a right and then we'll take a left from there. Dude, this semi, man. I, I like this Peterbilt. It's, it's, I think it's better driving the Kenworth. I, I like Peterbilt over the Kenworth, I'd say, right here. Just the first person view, at least. Throw on the blinker. Make the turn. Boy, come on. There we go. Don't hit the stop sign. There we go. Usually I take out the signs. Turn the blinker off. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. So if I had a steering wheel, guys, you would see, you wouldn't see this like fast twitching. I don't think it would just be a slow wheel turn and be so smooth watching. So I'm thinking about getting a steering wheel with uh, the guy that super, super chat for him box. Everybody said I should get a steering wheel with it. And so I think I'm going to use his money to uh, probably buy a steering wheel. Keep going up here. Throw around cruise control. And then we'll take a right and then a sharp right left up here too. Oh boy. Slow her down. Slow her down. You can hear that brake going. There we go. Throw on the blinker. Okay, swing wide, baby. Okay, she probably stop. There we go. Now yeah, make a turn. Okay, now we gotta throw on our left blinker. Turn in here. There we go, making a turn, and then I gotta repair this thing. Uh, hopefully, they have a workshop up here. It'd be nice if they do have a workshop. There we go, dude. This is this road. I always get caught on this road. Like I always overturn or go in the ditch or something like that. But you finally, I got past it. Usually when I'm on combine, those things are sketchy when you're driving those. Oh boy. There we go. Watch out for that. And then, okay, Nathan, I'm gonna just park this at the edge of the field up here. Will that be cool? Yeah. Yeah. You okay. can park it in the entrance if you want. Oh. Man, the semi just shut off again. Oh, it's just rolling now. It's just ro coasting down here. Come on. There we go. We got to start it up. But there is a workshop right up here. So I think I'm going to pay the repair cost, repair it, and everything should be fine. Because the workshop's literally right here. So we'll pull in there and repair it quick. Oh, man. Dude, I'm still mad. I, I'm going to I'm gonna talk to the grill man about his tractor flipping he had going on. We're going to talk to that guy and see what, uh, see what was all up with that. We'll pull her in here. Okay, it's time to repair this bad boy. Nope, nope. We want to repair the semi, not the not the trailer. Okay, we'll whip her around. We should be able to repair. Yeah. Oh shoot. I gotta, maybe I gotta drop the trailer off. I don't know if it's sensing that there's a semi here. Oh, that could be. You. Oh man, it's not. That's not good. Cause my semi keeps. <laughs> oh man. Okay, here. Nah, I'd, okay, well, it was sensing the trailer was there when the trailer was parked way back here. Nah, it doesn't sense it. Shoot. Okay, so I don't know what I'm going to do with that, but for now, it's going to be shutting off as we drive a little bit. There we go. We'll hook this bad boy up. Perfect. Okay, now we got to go pull in the field quick. We'll go around here. Pull in the field and become another road. Nope. And there we go. Okay, so you said pull in by the entrance or just park it by the entrance. That'll be good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, perfect. Just pull it in and turn it around so it faces out. And then I'll jump in the new Holland and I'll keep following you around the field. Are you full yet? Have you been full yet? Um, eighty-seven. Oh shoot. Okay. I could uh, I could kind of run out there to you with the semi if you want, or you can just drive back. I think I can make it around. Okay. I'm almost there with the green car. Okay. Perfect. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna whip around here. 
that are straightened out a little bit. You can see his dust over there. So there's, oh, there he is. He's down there. There's Tyre Bog down there. Come on, Peter Bill Club, man. Come on, there we go. She's a little dirty. These trailers and semis work so good for us, though. It was so nice having semis. There we go. Park the semis right there, and then eventually we'll unload the green carts in there. Okay, New Holland. I gotta keep keep going with this baby. We get this baby going, and we'll keep harvesting some wheat along here. Oh, there we go. She's got a, she's got eleven point two hours on her. How many hours you got on the gleaner? Thirteen five. Oh man, we've got a lot of hours on this equipment, boys. A lot, a lot, a lot. Okay, so right now I'm full and big country is going to come unload me. He's going to come on, on the go and we're going to get going here. And then we, dude, we're almost getting this field done. It literally took me forever to get a full tank just because the wheat's not yielding. Like, maybe I'm just used to ha always harvesting corn and beans, but the wheat's not yielding. It doesn't seem to be yielding the best just because they did leave at the beginning of the summer. So they didn't even get any fertilizer on the field too, to begin with. So <laughs> that didn't help them at all either. So, we're going to just get going right here, and then, I, oh, I was wanting to get that auger moving. Hold up, big country, I'm trying to gain, catch you. There we go. I love how you can move the auger and just move it side to side. There we go, we're unloading in here, and yes, we're going to sell their wheat too, because team three got some of team number four's land, so we just took some of team number one's land. That's what we're basically doing. So that way we can get everything off the map and everything harvested on the map. Now, right now, there's a great demand for soybeans. Unfortunately, we don't have any more soybeans. We sold them at great demand too last night. And there's still a great demand, so hopefully Grill Man doesn't hopefully he passes it and he doesn't he doesn't see it. I'm pretty sure they already sold it because I checked their bin. Oh, and their bin's all, all the way gone? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, Grill so Grill Man sold all of his beans too. Do they are they storing anything? Like does anybody know what they're storing? Uh I can check real quick. Uh they got a little wheat and a little barley and that's it. Okay. Not much, like three thousand is all. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I'm pretty sure they went through and sold everything for the great demand. Hmm. Big country, I have 18% if you want to keep unloading me. It's kind of tough on the corner, I know, I know. There we go, here, we'll sit right at the end of this, and then you, we can, uh, we'll stop, and then you can top me off. There we go, we are, boom, done, perfect. Thank you, big country. Okay. Okay, tire bog's coming in there. Tire bog, will, are you just going to keep going up and down here? Will that work good? Yeah, I think so. Okay. And then we got to move over to field seven, knock out field seven yet too. And tire bog's rolling in, so I will get going. There we go. Perfect, just rolling along there. And then New Holland, man, I, I can't wait to clean this thing. I've said it so many times, but I can't wait to clean this thing. And the gleaner. They're both just really dirty right now. But... There we go, man. It's just... Okay, so on the next field, though, we're going to enable straw swaths, right? Yep. Okay, and that'll... We'll ooh. Okay, okay, that'll be good. That'll be good. Watch, we got to... At the end of this video, I want to be flip. There we go, boys. We are almost done with this wheat field now. We're going to come through and bale it quick. We're not going to get too many bales, but it's going to give us a, a little extra income. What tractor do we want to throw on the baler? And do we even have a... We have a John Deere baler, um, don't we? Yeah, we have the John Deere square really. Okay, so we could throw... Dude, we should throw some tractor. We, we should throw the white. If I can get the white on there. We yeah. haven't used... Yeah, I had the white on the bale picker upper. Oh, you did? Okay, so maybe yeah, we can use... Yeah, since they flipped it, I guess we can do anything, really. <laughs> we can use it on the... Yeah, we could use it on the bale picker upper or something. We'll probably just teleport it here because uh, to get it unflipped, it's going to be tough to get it unflipped. So the yeah, best way is going to be to just teleport it. Oh, man. Tire bog, I missed it a little bit. I'll probably go back for that stuff over there. You can yeah, keep going. You, you, there you go, and then I'm at 92%, dude. So we got two loads. After doing all of this, we only have, like, for me, for my comment, I should say, we only had, I only had to unload twice. So, uh, yeah, it didn't yield too good. There we go. I'll just finish up this little stuff. I wonder if it's going to even give me any uh, straw swath here. Oh, it does. It's just a tiny little straw swath because there's, like, no straw. Big country, I'm going to pull some out here on the road. There we go. And yep. Tire Bog and Big Country and me are going to start unloading these bad boys. We'll pull her up here. Okay, it's going to be tough to get around here, though. It is here. You know what? I'm going to actually take off the header because we don't even need the header anymore, right? We're done, technically, right? right? We're all done. Harvest all is done, machine. man. Machine. Oh, my gosh. Harvest is done. That is insane. Oh, dude, I cannot believe it. There we go. Yesterday when we were playing, I wasn't recording, guys, but I was just helping out on the server yesterday night quick. And uh, Owen was coming around, and he was... 
he was running up to people's headers when they were combining, and he was like undoing it while they were combining. Yeah, yeah, he did that to me. <laughs> oh, like five man. times, just getting annoying. He just he just unhooks a PTO because it's manual attach or whatever, and then unhooks uh, the header and just drops the header on the ground. Here we go. Okay, so we got this. Now, I should be able to pull it up through the farm. Hopefully, I can get up through here. Come on, man. We got to be able to. There we go. Oh, th oh, that's right. I totally forgot about these bins I always placed here. It's so nice seeing these bins here. They're nice bins. I wish I would have put the bin pack in when I was playing on this server. Like, uh, doing the single player. Oh, man. Yeah. My combine just shut off. Oh, we got to start back up. There we go. Okay, we're good. Uh, Big Country, you got room for me? Yes. Okay. There we go. How much you got left? It's at 72. Okay. I'll dump in there, and then you'll probably be close to full, to be honest. There we go. Just filling her up there. And then, okay, so do we want to, Nathan, you said for the bale picker up, or we'll, we'll run the white, and then we'll just run a different tractor on the baler? Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll work good. And we're going to rake it, too. Or Ooh. We can rake it. Okay. Okay. That'll be sweet, raking it, too. So what do you got now, big country? 84. 84, okay. Perfect. You'll be about roughly 100%. Uh, maybe not 100. You'll be at like 90 or so. There we go. Okay, so now we have to get these semis back to the farm. I don't even know. What farm do we want to take them to? It's so weird. I said the easiest one is by one and two. Okay, okay, up there. Okay, yeah. Well, oh, perfect. Okay. And then Big Country, can you unload the gleaner he has right there, too? Oh, okay. I was looking for that. There you go. Just pull under it, and it should start unloading. I'll run back the new Holland over there. Do we have any room in that one shed? The one, like, shed by Field 4, that tiny little shed over there? Uh, we usually park semis in it. But oh, yeah, okay. We'll, so. we'll park the semis in there for now. We'll, I'll put the comments back where they, where they belong. There we go. And this is kind of a creepy hill going up and down this stuff. And it's like, it, it's kind of cool, I should say. It's not really creepy. It's, it's like... It's a creepy hill, meaning it's windy and stuff, and it's through the timber, which is kind of cool. So, I, I kind of like going through this hill, and then eventually, I, I don't think I'll take the like the the back path to our farm. It's a quicker path, but you cut across fields and stuff, and it's a little rough for the combine. But I think I'll take the road all the way around. Yes, I'm full. You're full. So, are you gonna go sell the wheat, or are you gonna? What do you think? Go sell it. Go take it to. Uh... Mississippi. Or, Mississippi. Wait, go to River Valley Mill. River, the... <laughs> River Valley's all the okay. way to Wisconsin, dude. Oh, man, that's a long truck drive. There you go, and then we'll be pulling this around. Take, okay, so I could take this, I guess here, I'll take the path, because it's always interesting taking the, the path over here. So here's our one shed over here that we store our semis in usually. It's just kind of like just in the open. It's, there's like, it's, I guess it's around timber and stuff, but there's no real farm around it. So that's where we store our semis, but here's the back path to our other farm. It's kind of cool. Just going through the timber. I like paths like these. And then we'll just, okay, I better slow it down a little bit. There we go. It's a little rough, though. Usually you wouldn't take your combine through it. You'd want to keep your combine on the road. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on. There we go. You can kind of see the path through here. It's made for tractors and equipment, so. There we go. Boom, we're there. And so we're out to the wheat field over there, and there's our farm right there. Otherwise, we would have had to drive all the way around that thing. And then I'm going to start untipping these tractors here, because these tractors, man, we got to start. Oh, Brett said the only tractor he couldn't get tipped was a versatile. He couldn't get that thing tipped. And there you go. You see the versatile right there, just fine and dandy. Just right there. <laughs> Dude, it would have been funny if we had, like, a secret... Uh, camera or something just hiding just watching yeah. grown man try to tip him over and just struggling okay we will put the combine right over here and i'm gonna jump in that first towel and i'm gonna start i know it's guys it's gonna be unrealistic but i'm gonna tip the loader first oh yeah okay yeah i'll tip, grab the first towel, flip the loader so that way we can lift stuff off and uh move it around that way that'll work good <laughs> So we got the Magnum, the 8110, the White. The White is one of my favorite tractors, dude. I haven't even used it much just because it's, like, too small to run some of the equipment we were wanting to run. But that's a good tractor, too, over there. Okay. Oh, the Versatile is loud. Okay, we got to turn on the Versatile. Oh, that's right. I totally forgot. There we go. 
Okay, get this big beast. I want to flip uh, the skid loader over there so we can actually flip some of the other stuff over. We'll head down here. Oh, man, girl, man. Why'd you do this to me, mom? There we go. We'll head through here. And then I'm just going to ram some of these, especially the loader. Let's so get this thing out of here. Oh, dude, are we going to fit through here? Okay, there we go. Okay, here we go. I, I have perfect shot at the magnum. We'll flip the magnum quick. Oh, dude, that's, that's not even hard to flip these. Uh, maybe, maybe some of them are going to be hard, I guess. <laughs> there we go. Okay, here's the 4840. We gotta flip the 4840 back over, man. Here we go. We'll pull up to it. I'll just give her a little ram. I think I think just a little bit is good enough. Oh no, it wasn't. Oh, it was one to go there. Oh, I, all I gotta do is move the magnum out of the way, and it should go. There we go. Sweet. Okay. You know what? I should probably use the magnum. I'm gonna use the magnum tip. It. It's a lot easier to drive. Okay, here we go. We got the white here, and then we also have the 8110 over there. White's flipped. <laughs> dude, it's not even that hard to unflip them. Okay, here we go. I'll get the dude. The one that's going to be tough is the uh, here, tire ball. You ready? Yep. There you go. And then here we go. 8110 over here. I'll flip this bad boy. Or 8530. Oh, I'm on a hill. It's going to be tough. This is, this is going to be tough to flip back over. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to push it through the fence, guys. Unfortunately, the, the only way to do it is push it through the fence. Oh, man. I'm, I'm sorry. You guys got to see this. There we go. Okay, 8530 is flipped. Um, skid loader, I guess. Two. Here's the 7R over here. I'll grab the 7R. There's the 7R. I don't think the 7R is going to take much. There we go. 7R is flipped back over. Um, the skid loader might be a little tough to get, I guess. We got to watch out for the skiddy. I don't know how I'm going to flip this. Come on. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay. That wasn't bad at all. There we go. Do we have everything flipped? Yes, we have everything flipped. Oh man, I forgot to. Oh, I forgot to take a thumbnail of all this stuff flipped over. Okay. Um, but anyways, guys, this is gonna be the end of the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy it. I'm, I'm sorry, you guys had to see all that flipping and stuff. Grill man did it. Blame grill man. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, smash that like button. Hey boys, I will see you boys later. Thanks for watching.